secure. All right, make some noise if you use Windows Hello today. You remember we launched this, man, biometric authentication. It's enterprise grade, keeping folks secure with the most personal things possible, your finger, your, your, your face. It's awesome. Um, We've seen folks loving this, all right? It's coming to apps. People are buying things in the Windows Store using this. Dropbox integrated. Uh, but today, I want to talk about another partner that's very excited. That's USAA, all right? They're the largest financial service provider to our uh, U.S. military, and they're actually going to uh, extend uh, Hello support for their website using Microsoft Edge. Uh, because of that new FIDO spec in W3C that's implemented in Edge, uh, this, this convenience and security of Edge can actually light up here. So, so check it out. We're going to show you the website now. This is, this is so easy. I'm on a device right now that's enrolled with my fingerprint. All I'm going to do is just touch, log on with Windows Hello. There you go. My bad. Uh, and now it's asking me to touch my fingerprint. And just like this, uh, it logs in. It's that fast. It's easy. It's safe. It's secure. We are pumped about it. Now let's talk about more personal computing and getting a little bit productive here, all right? We, Terry mentioned a new experience that's gonna put ink front and center, all right? We're gonna help you with Windows Ink, uh, create, ideate, and collaborate better, okay? Uh, and why would we do this? Brian, why would you put ink front and center? Okay, because a lot of y'all still use pen and paper. Make some noise if you still write stuff down all the time on pen and paper. Why do we do that? We do it because it's fast, it's easy, it's right there, it's immediate, it doesn't require setup, but then, Sometimes you lose that piece of paper and you know, you're like, oh man, where was that? So our goal with Windows Inc. is to really combine the, the naturalness and the speed of pen and paper with the power of a PC. And there's four parts to this. Number one, we're gonna put this pen front and center so you know what to do with it. Number two, we're gonna make sure that we solve for the tasks that people are reaching for pen and paper most for. And number three, I'm gonna show you how Windows Inc. is actually a deeper platform that enables faster and more fluid ink flow throughout the entire Windows experience, all right? So let's start with that, that first one, putting the pen front and center. Okay, so when I got my pen, I was super excited, but I wasn't always sure what to do with it or which app to use, so we're solving for that. I'm gonna push this pen button, check this out. This is the ink workspace. All things ink are here. These are the three tasks people do most. I'm gonna jump in on that in a second. But look at this, my most recently used pen apps, I can get right back in and do what I was doing. Also down here, tips and tricks. So users are gonna know what to do with this pen. We're gonna walk you through that. But another thing I wanna call out to you folks, this right here, suggested apps. This is one place where if I touch this, uh, I'm gonna go to a dedicated section of the store that just is amazing apps that support pen. All right, so we're gonna light that up for folks. They're gonna know what to do with the pen. We're putting it right front and center. What do you think about that? I'm just getting started, all right? What about the tasks we do most? Number one, we jot down things to remember. Make some noise if you use sticky notes in your life. I'm not surprised, all right? Uh, 3M sells 50 billion sticky notes a year, all right? Today on Windows 10, we have 8 million monthly active users of sticky notes and 3 million daily active users. So of course, we're gonna make this better. I can get to my sticky notes right here, check this out. Here I had some stuff I had to make sure I showed you guys. We're doing good on that so far. But watch this, I'm gonna make a new note here. My mom always gets worried when I do the de demo. She calls me, you know, she speaks Spanglish. She mixes it up, we're Latin. Oh yeah, Brian, I'm worried. Did the demo go good? How are you feeling? So I gotta always remember to call my mom after this. So I wanna make sure that tomorrow I call mom. But watch what happens when I write tomorrow. Okay, look, first of all, look how easy and, and smooth this ink is flowing. But watch what happens next. I wrote the word tomorrow, and because we're combining the power of the pen and the PC, you see it turn blue. That's because we're smart enough to know that was handwriting, to know that it was a day, so that if I touch it, my homie who rocks at reminders, Cortana, is easily able to come up and actually set that reminder for me, okay? And beyond just setting reminders of Cortana, Bing is integrated. We'll be able to recognize places, uh, you know, uh, maps, all kind of cool stuff. This is gonna be very smart. These sticky notes are geniuses. What do you guys think about that? Yes. Why else do we write things down? Sometimes when you scratch out an idea, it's just easier to communicate visually. How many times when you're moving furniture, you rip off a piece of paper, you start jotting on it? Um, you devs, I know you run up to the whiteboard and write a bunch of stuff, and then at the end, you're like, oh wait, let me photograph the whiteboard and later try to decipher what those things were that made sense at the time. Okay, so we wanna make sure you have a way to do that. And that's why there's a sketch pad now. So check this out. Uh, the sketch pad, I already wrote some stuff here for you. And what you're gonna see is, uh, I wrote, of course, Windows loves ink. Can I get an aw, aw? Y'all did that nice, it was smooth and buttery. So check this out. Why else are we putting ink front and center? I'm gonna hit you with some stats here. We did a little survey and found out uh, that 72% of people uh, still use pen and paper or various writing instruments a lot. That's 72%. They use it for actually more than one hour per day. That's crazy, all right? Now, of that seven, in, within that 72% now, 32% 
actually use it for more than three hours a day. So there's a lot of people using pen, all right? Now, check out how I did that. It was quick, it was easy, it was immediate. I got there, I could illustrate an idea to you. But here's what I wanna call out, because I have the power of the PC, I can do cool stuff like have a ruler. So maybe these lines were not as cool as I wanted them to be. Uh, look how I'm easily able to come in and rotate this. I can come in and get my lines super straight. I can come in and do this. Oh, y'all like it. You like it. Cool. And of course, the last thing, this is gonna bother me if I don't do it. Y'all remember back in grade school, the first thing you learn is that whenever you have a heart, you gotta put the little arrow and you gotta do that. Okay, and then because this is the power of the PC, yes, I, that person was excited about the heart. I wrote that heart for my, my person. So I'm not gonna lose this whiteboard because I have the power of a PC. And you know what? Just so y'all can have this for later, I'm gonna go ahead and tweet it to you. So this way y'all have it. You'll remember that we love ink. What do you guys think about that? Now, yes. And of course, we don't want the tech to get in the way. So if I actually go and lock my PC right now, check this out, I'm gonna lock it. That entire ink workspace is available above lock. I can get right back to what I was doing. So when it's time to rock and roll, you grab your device, you mash a button and you're ready to go, man. Okay, now, beyond all this cool stuff, inking is actually a platform. So um, I'm gonna really showcase now a couple things of how this is actually extending great inking experiences into Office, uh, a Maps app that we have, and then also, Sometimes it's hard to actually explain something to somebody as far as where it is on a map. Look at this. I, I wanna make sure you see. I'm just gonna take my pen and make a little dot right here. Watch what happens though. That dot, this is smart ink, man. It becomes a point of interest. That's a registered point of interest. And if I wanna go over here and meet somebody over uh, you know, by, this, by the water, I make another dot. Now watch what happens. I just draw a line connecting the dots and look what happens. This ink is smart enough to know those two points, to know that distance, and actually see what's happening there, okay? And, and also you'll be seeing that uh, we can easily get directions there. Now, beyond that, um, here's Mount St. Helens. If you, make some noise if you've played with the 3D section of this map before. Yeah, if you have not, you gotta check this out. Let's say I wanna go for a hike, and I found a really cool route is to go do this. Now, watch what happens. This ink is gonna be smart enough again to, to dry and know that that's 2.1 miles, but watch this. I can make a little place and say, here's where we're gonna meet, uh, and then up here I'll say, maybe we're gonna stop and do some lunch, okay? And then, uh, right up here maybe, I'm gonna go and say, here's where we're gonna do a picture. All right, so the, I, I'm making these custom routes, these custom notes, they're available with, across all my Windows devices, but watch what happens. Look at this. When I turn this to 3D, that ink is smart enough to actually stick to that thing. It knows that that's a topographical map and it's sticking to it, and watch this. When I actually rotate this, those little billboards that I wrote are smart enough to face me the entire time. That's the power of the pen and the PC coming together. How do you feel about that? <laughs> that's right. Now. I'm gonna revisit some childhood trauma here with my teachers marking red stuff on my papers consistently. Uh, but check this out, we've all done it, whether you're helping your, your children with their homework or, or if you're a teacher yourself. But look, look how easy this is now in, in Word. I cross out a word, it's gone. Maybe I don't like this whole paragraph, okay? We've always had inking in Word, but watch how the text is actually reflowing now. Also, if you're like me and you're not artistically inclined, maybe when you highlight stuff, it looks like this. That's cool, look what happens. Y'all laugh, because you're like, I could never write it. Yes, you could do a whole paragraph. Now also today, PowerPoint does a great job at aligning things naturally on vertical and horizontal axes. but check this out. Um, let me show you what the ruler can do here. Um, so two things, when I move this ruler with two fingers, uh, I'm, easy, I'm able to easily control the rotation. When I use one, that rotation's locked. So what I can actually do is move this down here and snap these objects alongside this ruler. All right, so this is, this is easily coming together. Yeah, and now when I line this up, check this out. It's really easy for me to draw some cool little diagonal lines to, to make my slide look awesome. That's the power of the pen and the PC coming together. All right, now beyond Office, beyond Maps, we know that Inc Windows Inc is a platform for everybody and Adobe's embracing this. I'm gonna talk you through something they made for us. Check this out. What you're seeing right now, it's gonna come up. So it's very faint, but that's a stencil called a French curve. It's willfully faint because Adobe does not want their tools to get in the artist's way, all right? But watch what happens. Simultaneous pen and touch is enabled with the Windows Inc. platform. Look how that artist is easily able to use touch and pen together to be able to actually make these perfect lines on the shoe with that French curve stencil. I mean, that's awesome. This, this is empowering new experiences. The tech is not getting in the way. It's enabling. That is the goal. What you're seeing here is an example of the amazing uh, latency, or lack thereof more, of the Windows Inc. platform. The ink is just flowing completely smoothly out of that that pen. I mean, you would never know that it's actually a, a device doing that because that's our goal. How do you guys feel about that stuff? <laughs>